basketball, and basketball is life. Anthony Drago. If you can't tell, my favorite sport is basketball. As a child from the age of nine, I loved basketball as my passion. It kept me out of trouble, and a lot of other kids my age were getting into trouble. We're high school and everything. At the time, I didn't realize it, but basketball and sports in general teach you a lot of things about life that you cannot learn in the classroom or studying it or reading about it. It has to be experienced. Things such as teamwork, decision making, dealing with the, you know, the adversity that people put on you every single day. And the thing that I realized about basketball and about sports in general, it's pretty well accepted around the world that sports is a great vehicle to teach kids about life. But in my opinion, of the four major sports that are out there, basketball is the one that truly emulates life. And here's why. Let's talk about football. Football, essentially you have three different teams. You have an offense, you have a defense, and you have a special team. At no point in the game are, are two teams on the court, on the field at the same time. Therefore, certain teams can't impact the game directly. Second, we have baseball. Baseball, the offense, when you're batting, unless you're hitting or you're on the on deck circle, you don't really have an impact on the game. Then you go to the field, and unless you're pitching or catching, you're not involved in every play. You're basically waiting for things to happen. So that's out. Then we have hockey, which I'm not a big fan of, but there's certain areas on the ice that players can't go to. They have a defenseman who can only, he has to stop here because he can't go on the other side of the ice. The goalie is restricted to where he can go. So hockey's out. That leaves basketball. Basketball is five on five, full court, and there's no restrictions to where you can go on the court. And there's no restrictions to what you can do with the basketball. A guy who's 7'2 can dribble up down the court as much as he wants, and a guy who's 5'2 can go up and dunk if he wants to. It doesn't matter. There's a few terms, I, I'm going to give you guys four terms about basketball that I believe parallel life exactly. And this is why I feel that life is basketball and basketball is life. Number one is a shot. Right? The only way you score points in basketball is by shooting the basketball into the goal. The only way. You can't say, I hope you go in. Please go in. It doesn't work. So the only way is to shoot the ball. Next, we have defense. Defense is something that is not really understood by a lot of players. A lot of players don't play defense nowadays. If anyone is a basketball fan here, you know that defense is a rare commodity in basketball. But, in the game of basketball, the sure way to win a game is not shooting the ball and scoring. It's by not allowing the other team to score. So, defense, you have to protect your goal. Right? You have to stop the other team from scoring. The same thing in life. That you have goals in life. You have beliefs. You have standards. You have to defend them. You have to defend your family, your values. These are all things that are vital to your success in your life. And when it comes down to it, these are the things that you need to do to get to the next level in your life. Not just business, okay? We're all here, we all have jobs, but this is more about your lives, about what you can do to build your life and protect yourself. Next up, we have an assist, all right? I pass the ball to Lewis. He shoots the shot, he scores. Everybody in the crowd goes crazy because he scored. But anybody who knows anything about basketball knows that, for the most part, the shot was great, but it was the assist that set up the play. Same thing in life. This contest right here, all the speakers, the contestants, everything that went on behind the scenes to set this whole event up, there's your assist. Just because you don't shine on every single play doesn't mean you're not a valuable part 
to what you're doing. And that's what I think is misconstrued. Everybody is concerned with having to shine. Everyone's concerned with they have to be the one that, you know, all the praise is thrown to. But that's the world we live in today. The entitlement age with the kids today. Everyone thinks that they don't have to work for things, that they can just show up and they win. It doesn't work out. Everybody plays a vital role when you're part of a team. And the last term I want to share with you is rebound. Does everybody know who Dennis Rodman is from the NBA? Very colorful. <laughs> to say the least. Dennis Rodman had a great quote. And he said, I know I'm going to get the rebound. That's the word, rebound. He said, I know I'm going to get the rebound because I know I'm going to jump five times to the ball. And everybody else is only going to jump four. He had his eyes set on getting that rebound. So in basketball, you're going to shoot. More than 50% of the time, you're going to miss. What do you do? You go for the rebound. You try to get the ball back. You go and you bust your butt, you dive on the floor. Say you don't get the ball back. What do you do? Do you just say, ah, oh, well, I'll give up. That's it. No. You bust your butt back, and you get back to one of the other terms, defense. And you defend your goals again. You defend everything you're about. Same in life. You have to defend. I mean, you have to rebound from things when they go wrong. When things go wrong in your life, Les Brown had a great quote. When things go wrong, don't go with it. Rebound. Get up, go back after it, and defend and rebound from what you just happened to have. Now, contest chair, fellow Toastmasters, and guests, I believe truly in my heart and soul that the ideas I shared with you tonight, if you implement them, not only in your careers, but in your personal lives, and really embrace them, I believe that you will have so much success in your life that you will not know what to do with it. And I know it's hard to practice. But, in my opinion, that's why life is basketball, and basketball is